Yo, what up, guys? I've been starting this one from the air. I just met up with my man Greg here and didn't really have time to film an intro. Yeah, we're headed to the reservoir. The reservoir is pretty dried up right now. It's uh, more dry than it is water. Fun fact, this little street down here, precariously between power lines and trees, I launched from there last winter and I was really desperate because nowhere else was plowed so I launched from there never posted that video I might post it one day well, what's new around here the weather's been complete garbage recently it's been rainy and windy I haven't really flown since Thanksgiving so finally some good weather it's in the 40s but I went to uh, the department store and picked up some new Under Armour gloves I don't know that they're the best they're kind of bulky but they're way better than the other ones I had when my hands froze but they're pretty rad ah what a life we're out here about two hours before sunset, so it's a little bit bumpy. It's not a big deal though. Greg and I had the uh, intercom set up, then we lost it after launch for some reason. So now I'm just sitting here talking to myself. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. That reminds me, uh, what's the thing? The Mandola effect or whatever. I was reading about this. Apparently it's a thing. You know, I just said it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Apparently that song was never the neighborhood. It was this neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, which to me sounds awkward, but that's the whole idea of the Mandola effect, that there's alternate realities. It actually was the neighborhood, but we switched into an alternate reality and reality changed, and now it's this neighborhood. I don't know, but I hope he sees those power lines down there. I always fly under them. I follow that little stream out and to the left go into the power lines. Maybe we could do the whole perimeter of the freaking reservoir. That'd be fun. Man, I miss summer already. Everything's brown and gray and cold. I miss the paradise time when it's nice and green and puffy clouds and warm sun. I always feel out of practice after I've, you know, not flown for a while. I feel super awkward doing any kind of acro. Don't think about it, just do it. In the words of my fellow parachute packing compadre, Joey. <laughs> Shout out to Joey. I don't know if he watches these. Don't think about it, just do it. As I was learning how to pack and couldn't shove the rig in the container. Don't think about it, just do it. Yeah! One to the right. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Yeah, dude! Back at it again! Woo! Yeah. Rad! <laughs> Gets me stoked every time! I love it. I don't even know which way the wind direction is coming from, so I might be flying into some wake. Feels a little dicey under the power lines. So tonight I was actually planning on going uh, to fly into a coffee shop that I've been scoping out, but I don't think I would have enough time to do it now so I'm gonna save that for another day but I might try to scout it out from the air um, I've checked it out from Google Maps but that's gonna be a sick video when I can get around to doing that I figure I have to have at least two hours or more of available time to fly out there land and get back up in the air my hands are getting cold I would totally do a water foot drag on the edge there, but I know it's gonna soak into my shoe and get my foot wet. Ah, it's so tempting to do a foot drag, but I know that water is like icy. That's my soundtrack right now. Okay, so that coffee house I was talking about is just past the far end of this reservoir. So I think around this bend is where I would have to go to scout it out. Funny thing is, the name of the coffee shop is Scouts uh, Coffee Bar or something, and I'm flying a scout, and I'm scouting out the coffee bar on my scout. But seriously, I want to land there and put the scout in front of the place and be like the scout at the scout coffee bar. Danger. It's my middle name. You go right, I'll go left. I like foot dragging this asphalt up here. Ooh, but it's turbulent, droughty. What's that, dudes? I think, yeah. Coffee shop is over that way. That is for sure smaller than I expected. Totally doable, though. Not gonna say it wouldn't be a little sketchy. That's the field I would land in. 
I'd walk up the street, down the block, over, and right on the corner here by the railroad tracks is where the uh, coffee shop is. Shameless self-plug, subscribe uh, for a future video where I land right here and walk into that coffee shop and look like a weirdo trying to buy some coffee with a motor on my back. What in the hell is going on down there? Two ambulances, if that's a plural of ambulance, two fire trucks, rescue vehicles, police. Jesus, man. Hopefully I don't think we're terrorists or something. Brad. And do a tip drag. No, just kidding. Maybe one day. <laughs> How freaking sick would it be to land on that island and then take back off? Yeah. Nice one. Everyone freaking watching on the ground, it's like a hunter or fisher, like, dude, what the hell's going on here? Man, those WRCs haul ass. No matter what size it is, any of those wings I've ever flown or flown with, they're just like a freaking lawn dart. I'm not gonna lie, my hands are a little cold. These gloves are doing a decent job, though. Maybe we'll have to fly back to the park, land, warm up, and then go up for another flight afterwards. Over here is the beach, where you can normally go swimming at in the summer. The water's so receded. The sand doesn't even go to the edge. Following this stream is like the best thing ever. When you get it just right, you feel like you're flying on one of those helicopters on National Geographic or whatever, cruising down the Amazon, but it's really just like a stream in the middle of a freaking dirty reservoir. Alright, I think it's about time to head back to the park. I'm cold. I'll turn the camera back on if anything interesting happens. If not, see you guys at the park. All right, Chase. We're almost back to the park. Just drop it into the valley, passing this little airstrip, growing chili peppers of some sort out here. <laughs> he hit that little tree pretty hard. It's still bouncing right there. It's like he's coming in for a landing. Yep. All right. Let's get on the ground. It's been fun, but it's time to come in. Yeah, buddy. That was sweet. Are you cold? <laughs> well, it's officially dark. I'm all packed up. That's about all for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. Lots more content coming. Future stuff like trying to land at that coffee shop. Like this video if you like this video. Hope you guys had a good day. Peace out.